My doctor is Rockstar because she helps me. She tells me jokes and it takes my mind off of the pain of the needle. When they're in a new place and you don't know anyone, the world can feel too big. But the friendly faces here make me feel safe. Here at Cohen Children's Medical Center, when a child is looking out from their bed or from the operating room, everything is designed for those children. There is this fear of the unknown. You're in a foreign environment. So our major focus is to help them feel comfortable in the setting. It's not just the physical aspect of the delivery of care. It's the psychological. It's the emotional. No matter why a person is here, whether it's for an emergency visit, whether it's management of a chronic illness, the amount of care and support that's needed is equal across the board. Maddie girl, what did you draw? Me and mommy. In 2008, Madison was diagnosed with Wilms tumor stage four. We're twins. Kind of recognize her a little bit. <laughs> Shortly after, Jack was diagnosed with stage two Wilms tumor. Like when I was sick, I was very young. I didn't realize how bad of a condition I was in. It is very rare to have two fraternal twins with the same diagnosis. It took a lot of support of the family to focus on those two children. Yeah. Yeah. Riley came to us with her life on the line. She had been tragically attacked by the family dog as a 10-month-old. It's any parent's nightmare. The dog had basically removed her scalp and the bone had been penetrated into the brain. I just reacted. I just picked it up, put it on ice, and then they took us in the helicopter. They had her head wrapped in a towel, and I was just so scared because I knew when I got there, they were going to make me take the towel up, and I was going to see the extent of what really happened. When she arrived, the trauma team was activated and all of the subspecialists. And in a case like this, the pediatric neurosurgeons really saved her life. They fixed the fracture, fixed the opening into the brain area, and then with the plastic surgeon's help, not just save her life, but to really give her the normal, full life that we all hope for our children. I first found out Adrian was going to be born with sickle cell disease through an amniocentesis. Sickle cell anemia is a disease of the red blood cell. People associate it with pain crisis. Your red blood cells travel throughout your entire body, so it is much more than that. When he was born, there was no cure. There was treatment, ways to help him cope with the condition, but no known cure. Adrian has spent a good part of his childhood here at Cohen's. He's had multiple surgeries, a lot of respiratory problems, multiple, multiple transfusions. It was very nerve-wracking. Is he going to live with this for the rest of his life? How long is he going to live with this? I love you. I love you, too. When I found out Anaya was eligible to be his donor, I received a call from Donna Brower, and we just rejoiced together. Sharing that moment with me meant so much. I love my sister because she gave me her blood. It was a long road and a tough one for both Adrian and his family, but he is officially without sickle cell disease today. It's really our goal and our mission that families, when they leave here, are equipped both physically, emotionally, and mentally to live their best life. It was amazing. The way everybody just communicated and worked together to make sure like, she was comfortable and she had the best care, emotional support, everything. They're like family. They would have child life come in and play with him, and even the doctors and the nurses would, you know, take time out. She's amazing. She's just like full of joy. Like no matter what happens to her, she's just always a happy child. Since he's cured now, he's just a bundle of energy. They gave me my son back. I'm feeling fantastic. To see them healthy today and enjoying their friends and laughing is, is a, a miracle in itself. The next step in our evolution is the development of the new eight operating suites that will only provide surgical care for children. 
It will really expand the reach of our specialists and the care that we provide. Whether that's an airway procedure, or it's a brain surgery, or it's a heart surgery. It means a chance to walk again. It means a chance to live without seizures. It means a heart that beats strongly. It means a tumor that is erased. At Cohen Children's Medical Center, we are here to save not just a life, but a lifetime. That's what we do here. We build futures. And that's something that is especially important. There is a lot of power in knowing that you make a difference. Even if that difference is that that kid smiles for that day and to their family to see their kid feel like a kid. It's a wonderful feeling when you look at these children who are now enjoying healthy, gratifying, productive lives, and you've had a little bit of a part in helping them get to that point. <laughs> it's why I get up in the morning. The culture of the building really is special. That is the driving reason why we need the ongoing financial support to continue to build as a great children's hospital.